Mireya Alejo Marcet. I am an artist and a psychotherapist using expressive arts therapy. And um, I also have been a holotropic breathwork facilitator for 23 years. Mireya has a really great way of holding space for people, but I also just really loved um, being in a circle with other, other women. My initial career was in a, to, as a social anthropologist. And when I was studying anthropology, I decided to write my thesis on women's healers. And the experience that I had with these women was so powerful that I was really called to write about what is it that moves a woman to dedicate herself to healing. Once I came to the Bay Area and again by synchronicity I, I came in touch with a women's organization and that was around 2004. Um, so it's been kind of a long thread in my life. And I got into uh, the Tending the Fire women's group because I was tired. I was tired and I wasn't finding enough time to do the artwork I wanted to do or to get in connection with myself or even process what was going on around me. And so I was looking for something to stoke my fire and to help me connect with myself. Initially these circles, I've called them tending the fire. By doing these different practices with um, different sacred work and creative expression and coming together and voice work and movement and really um, feeding that fire inside of us, that then it allows for a certain level of freedom of expression, um, of connection to our aliveness as women, um, and also of connection with each other in a way where we can feel the sisterhood. Some of the themes that came up, I think, were very common stories um, that that many a lot that a lot of women probably experience. And so I think part of what was helpful for me was to kind of see and hear how similar narratives were showing up for other women. Like sometimes when I think of women's spaces, it feels like oh, it's going to be all emotional and people are going to be really feely and sentimental but it wasn't it wasn't like that at all like she was very like centered it seems like she's very grounded in her deeper intuitions and emotions that was the feminine energy i got from the group and like what was able to come out What does it mean to have another woman help lift us to the best of who we are, you know? And, and what does it mean to sit together in full honesty and honor each other and listen? You know, what is this other woman talking about? And, um, and also to give ourselves permission to come forward with our own creative expression. I had the permission to show up however I wanted. So if I was cranky or tired, or didn't want to say hello to anyone, I could do that. Um, if I was feeling excited and um, peppy, I could show up in that way too, and I felt very supported. I first went in, there were no people there, there were only four or five people. That day, I didn't feel very good, it was very tired. 然后呢，自己老想不通一个问题，嗯，但是进到那个场里边的感觉就非常的，嗯，当下的感觉，就是没有那种很浮躁的心情啊什么的，所以我进去那个，然后坐下来以后就突然有一个灵感，就是关于我自己问问自己的那个问题，突然就有一个一个答案。In this particular work, I am using the expressive arts um, almost like from the art itself as healing, where we move from one modality to the other as a way of exploring um, the psyche. 
，你看他用声音呐、啊，用绘画呀、啊，啊、呃，嗯，他来念诗啊，然后做一些什么这个祭坛啊什么的。哎，我觉得他这种方式，他不是他跟就这上面没关系，他让我跟我更多的跟感官相连接。我觉得这个体验挺奇妙的。When I went to this workshop, I was at a point where I felt I just felt very overwhelmed and very tired. Like I felt like there are certain issues I've been working on for a while, but there was never enough space to really like lay them out. And so, like in that space, what I realized was that, like, a lot of things that I needed was already there. That I didn't need to make all these things happen, or I didn't have to like dig it out or like search for the answers because it was already there. Like, I just needed to give it space. There's a lot I'm still learning and gathering from the class even afterwards, and it's really, I would say, the greatest thing is that it helped me connect to myself during a hard time, and make meaning out of things that didn't feel good at the time. My that topic from the beginning, he called me and asked me, "What is the purpose of this trip?" 目的是什么？你有什么想法？到最后结束的时候，我觉得完全处理了。所以，嗯，这个处理不是说脑子里面处理了，就是我真心的就开始行动了。For me, there's something really special about having a, a group of women together creating, because I think that's what we're born to do. Herself, to discover more of herself, to connect with the aliveness of her being. Anyone may be going through a transition, or feel who's feeling like they need a little bit of movement, or they're feeling a little bit stuck or lost. I think this can kind of really help. I would imagine if you're in the helping profession, if you're uh, giving out all of your energy. To other things and other people, I would imagine it's nice to have a little time to be with yourself. Women who attend don't have to be artists or creative, or it's you just have to have a place of curiosity and willingness to try something new if it's new for you. I think a lot of people, if you think back to when you were a child, if you really liked doing creative activities, even if or like. If you like dancing or listening to music, then this might work for you. My hope often is that then the women, when they leave and they go back to their homes, then it's almost like they have a little seed that has been planted inside of them that they can bring back to their lives, you know, to their work life, to their families, to their, and feel like they have that deeper connection to themselves. She was very supportive. Presence, and I think a, quite a wise woman. Even though she wasn't telling us all these advice or telling us all these things, I just felt that she was a wise woman. Her presence was so inviting and gentle, but what she was guiding us through generated so much movement and transformation. She, her, that presence, she exists there, will make you easy to open. 
，所以这个场的事情就是也很奇妙。这个场是你是没有办法去形容到底在这个场里面发生了什么。但是如果你不进到这个场里面，就你现在问我，呃，这个场里发生了什么，我也会跟你说不太清楚。但直到你进到这个场里面，你可能才会真正的感感受到那个不同。